We're no stranger to Reformed Church of Highland Park and Reverend Seth Caperdale. Uh, this, this story, however, takes us to an issue we haven't talked about much lately. Hurricane Sandy relief. The forgotten, still displaced New Jersey and still out there almost five years after Superstorm Sandy. Now, the Reformed Church since the storm has worked through their Sandy relief group, churches accomplishing long-term recovery to restore hundreds of homes uh, since the storm. Now, thousands of volunteers from across the country and even groups from Canada uh, have come to help the people of New Jersey. Now, last week, a dozen church members from a sister church, uh, the Rehoboth United Reformed Church in Ontario, Canada, were on their way to help rebuild five homes in New Jersey uh, for people that had no one else to look to for help. Now, when they reached the U.S. border, they were not allowed in and they were turned away. The, the Border Patrol guy said, that storm happened a long time ago. You couldn't possibly be coming down, uh, down to help with uh, disaster relief, you know. And so for some northern border patrol agent to act like an expert on the Hurricane Sandy debacle, that's, that's offensive. This is the first attempt at, a, at Canadian volunteers to enter the United States to help since uh, Trump was actually elected. It's deflating to have uh, the president of the United States throwing the kind of vibe that he is around our borders um, and around this whole notion of protecting American jobs when what we're talking about is protecting American jobs from 12 volunteers that happen to be teenagers and moms and dads from a church mm -hmm. coming down, you know, losing a week of their salary to come volunteer to help us fill our unmet needs. Caperdale has bigger visions as well. He's a Green Party candidate making a run at being the next governor of New Jersey. We talked a little bit about his platform and uh, why he decided to run for governor in New Jersey. If the Democrats in New Jersey could not beat a governor who was a bully, who was mean to public teachers, was mean to public sector workers, and who was just offensive in every way, shape, and form, if they couldn't beat him after four years, they did not deserve to be the only other party um, in the game. Yeah, I, I just think it's a publicity stunt. To me, the whole thing is colored by the fact that he wants to get into politics. The next thing you're going to say is that Canada organized the whole thing. Like, come on, we need to give people the benefit of the doubt until they are proven that they were not in this country for the right reasons. Let's give them the benefit of the but doubt. Why not give the ICE agents the benefit of the doubt? That's what frustrates me, that we just assume they didn't do the right thing. Also, I think to understand why the tensions are so high at the border right now is also what's happening in Canada. There's so many illegal immigrants from the U.S. going into Canada now as a result of what's happening in our country with the toughened borders. So I think that it's just very high tensions along there. If you don't have the right paperwork, you're not getting through. But what ICE has come out and said and Border Patrol has said is, uh, a letter, if they sent a letter um, over to uh, the state of New Jersey saying that what they wanted to do when they got here, things would have been a little bit easier.